There are some things that well-dressed elegant women just don't wear in the summertime. In today's video I'm going to share with you seven things that don't look good no matter what age you are and can actually be cheapening your appearance but I will show you what to wear instead to look classy, elegant and sophisticated. If you like to keep fit and work out then looking good while you're doing it can be really quite motivational but looking like you're wearing nothing is really never a good look. Head to toe, nude or skin colour gym wear or sports where it shows absolutely everything and I honestly don't understand why anybody would wear it. No matter what shape or size you are, nude or skin coloured leggings and gym sets do look unflattering. They make you look like you're completely naked and out of curiosity you really can't help but look. So they do draw attention and maybe that's the appeal. This lady looks like she forgot to wear her trousers. If you saw someone in these, you would do a double take as it really does look like she's naked from the waist down. The gym sets look just as unflattering as they look like you've completely forgot to put your clothes on. This lady remembered her socks and shoes but forgot her clothes. Nude or skin coloured leggings and gym sets are a big no-no if you want to look elegant. If you're going to the gym or going to work out then there are much better things to wear if you want to look well dressed. Even in the summertime black leggings will always be the most flattering on most skin tones. They slim the legs and of course they can always be worn in the fall and autumn paired with riding boots for a more seasonal look. Cutouts are in style at the moment and I do think a very small subtle cutout can look quite nice but they do seem to have gone to the extremes at the moment where there's more cut out than actual fabric. Great for the designers because they have to use hardly any material but not a good look if you want to look classy. The phrase leaving something to the imagination can't be used by some of the cut out tops and dresses out there. It would be quite impossible to wear underwear under lots of these things and I would imagine they'd be very hard to move in without something popping out. A playful sort of peekaboo cutout I do think can look classy. This dress has cutout panels at the waist revealing just a small side section of the rib cage. The trick is to choose pieces where the cutout is so subtle and doesn't reveal too much. Cutouts on the back, on the shoulder or waist are just perfect. This white dress has a small back cut out showing just a tiny bit of flesh but not too much. And this summer dress also has the smallest waist cutouts. The cutout can look okay and not trashy, they just need to be subtle. Now I did cover this in a recent video, droopy or saggy bottom trousers that just look like you've pooed your pants. I see men doing this all the time but women do it too and to me it just looks scruffy but also very uncomfortable. I do also see a lot of women wearing wearing shorts with the bottom cheek showing out the bottom of the shorts. It's just not a classy look. Sometimes it's just down to not checking what your shorts look like from behind. They can be much shorter on than what they look like off. Finding the right short for your leg length, torso length, leg shape, height and body shape, it can be hard and it does take a lot of trying on to find the perfect pair. But always check the back view for bum cheek exposure. A well-dressed woman won't wear see-through clothing anywhere other than perhaps the beach. Showing your underwear through your outerwear is never a good look and you know sometimes it can attract unwanted attention. Wearing see-through tops can sometimes be just an unfortunate mishap. Summertime fabrics can be very thin so lots of pieces will need a slit underneath or a cami top. And of course for the companies that's all extra money. So they sell these things as they are. So you just got to add your own. The downside to that though is it can make these things hotter to wear but the important thing is to check what it's like in the daylight. I've made this mistake many times myself but I've learnt my lesson. That said, mistakes do happen but avoid those quite obvious pieces of clothing that show bras through them and worse, pants or knickers. It's not classy. If it's obviously see-through like a lace blouse, rather than wear a bra, wear a bodysuit instead or a skimming vest or cami top underneath, which may be cooler. Sometimes nude or skin toned underwear works under sheer clothing, but the trouble is if the top is very sheer, it still looks like you've got nothing on. With something like this, I'd wear something in the same color, either a body or a bra vest, or maybe wear a strapless nude color bra with a cami top underneath. It'll just look much nicer. Now just recently I made a video about chunky ugly shoes. Now of course beauty is in the eye of the beholder and some may see the chunky soled shoe as a thing of beauty. 
Personally, I just don't think you can look elegant in a thick, chunky soled shoe because they're just too heavy and clumpy looking. This is a lovely looking dress that looks elegant and feminine until you get to the shoes. They're big and chunky and they're flip flops. So that gets a double cross. They ruin what could have been a lovely outfit. The trouble with chunky shoes is they draw the eye downwards. And if you want to look more elegant, you need to draw the eyes upwards to elongate and lengthen everything. The thick sole also means walking in them would be very clumpy. This is a very feminine outfit of a white blouse and floral skirt. Now it may not be to everyone's style or taste, but it's a pretty outfit. But the black heavy looking shoes to me just really ruin it. It looks light and floaty on the top, and then the shoes just make it heavy and cumbersome on the bottom. The two just don't blend well together. For a more streamlined feminine look, try some tan ballerinas or sandals. With an outfit like this, with the print and a quite sort of busy blouse, a tan pair of shoes won't make it any busier and it'll just keep the outfit simple and unfussy. The distressed look has been on trend for quite some time now, but if you want to look better dressed, then don't wear frayed or ripped shorts. They do look very trendy, but they do look a little bit scruffy. Ripped or torn shorts do look a little bit like you've kind of been attacked by a dog. It's a trend that I would really like to see fade away as soon as possible. Just like the cutout trend, the ripped trend has gone to extremes with the shorts or the trousers completely shredded. I do think it's one of those styles that I think you either love or you hate. I'm the latter. I don't think they're classy at all. If you like wearing denim shorts and you want a more polished look though, choose them without any fraying or rips or distressing. Just choose a nice clean hemlines and it'll look so much nicer. The cut off under the knee trouser has become synonymous with middle-aged women. And so sadly, it's kind of got this image of being perhaps a little bit frumpy and not the thing to wear if you wanna look a little bit more classy and sophisticated. Women have typically opted for this length trouser as an alternative to wearing shorts but they are quite unflattering because of where they cut at the legs, usually at the top to the middle of the calf, making their legs just look a little bit stumpy. And visually they do shorten your height, which can make you look a little bit frumpy. If you want to dress well in the summer, every piece of clothing should enhance or improve your overall appearance. And capris just sadly don't do that. Instead of this style of trouser, there are options depending on your height. There's wide leg trousers that hit around the ankle. There's crop trousers, they can look good. And if you're petite, try and find some that are high waisted. And then there's also the ankle trouser, which usually hits right at or just an inch above the ankle.